Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a new release from Springfield Armory called the Ronin EMP. EMP stands for Enhanced Micro Pistol. You'll notice they have a whole series of handguns in the EMP line. They also have a series of handguns in the Ronin line. And here's my 10 millimeter Ronin. It's a beautiful looking handgun. Fire's outstanding. This one's a 10 millimeter, but they make a whole bunch of Ronins. And, and when this was introduced, it was met with wide approval. People love it. It's priced right. And the Ronin EMP is no different. Now they took the enhanced micro pistol and the Ronin combined it together and made a Ronin EMP. And here it is introduced November 29th. 2021. I like that grip right there. It, it's a sharp looking grip, you know, nice touch of class there with the diamond checkering through, a little smoother right there. Springfield Insignia, a nine round magazine, and that gloss on the slide, that's actually a, a gloss Cerakote, matte black finish on top, and a forged aluminum frame has that silver look to it with that gloss black it's just such a sharp looking pistol i love the ronins i speak very highly of the ronins because they shoot so nice they look beautiful but it's also a little bit cheaper than the emps now if you look at the emps enhanced micro pistol series you'll see that they go right around eleven hundred dollars this has a lower msrp now if you go with this you'll get the one nine round mag a soft case all the paperwork and everything else with an msrp of 849 and that is what's that 250 dollars savings from the emp nine millimeter i i just think it's sharp it, it's three ounces lighter and it's a good looking pistol now i've taken it to the range on a couple occasions and it is a nice shooting handgun just as fine as my 10 millimeter and i'm sure the 45s in the ronin line but the emp well i checked out the emp concealed carry contour and that is a nice handgun there's no doubt about that i i really enjoyed that at the range you want to talk about accuracy check out that handgun but this delivers it just the same with a three inch bull barrel and i was pleasantly surprised you know when you get a subcompact handgun you're like well you know the accuracy i, I expect it to be good I, I should shoot it well well with this I, I can testify firsthand it it was outstanding a couple times i've had it to the range already uh the three dot sights okay tactical ledge right there dots in the back they are serrated with a fiber optic front sight and a trigger that i am measuring at five pounds and i love the 1911s i i just i'm just a fan look at that reset right there five pound trigger pull with nine rounds of nine millimeter it's got that nice flat mainspring texturing right there extended beaver tail skeletonized hammer and trigger bull barrel bushingless okay that is made out of forged steel the frame is made out of forged aluminum and if we look right there i hope that'll pick up that says emp and right there it says ronin and ronin the ronin line actually has gained quite a reputation throughout the last couple of years i know a lot of people that says you know the ronin is one of my best shooting 1911s and i fully understand all right so here we have an unloaded Ronin EMP one pound. What's that? One pound. There's 26 and three eighths ounces. If we go with the nine rounds, we'll see that it's at 30 and a quarter. Throw that round in there. 30 and five eighths ounces. So about 30 and a half ounces loaded with 10 rounds is what this is weighing in at. But it also has a little different disassembly. It's real easy. So let's go ahead and we'll disassemble it, put it back together, and come back and talk more about the new 1911 Ronin EMP. To disassemble the Ronin EMP, it's not too hard. We'll go ahead and remove the magazine, show clear. And you'll notice that there is a cutout right there. I'm going to move the slide back, and then from the opposite side, push this pin forward, and then go ahead and remove it. 
At that point, the slide will come right off of the frame. You'll notice there is a dual recoil spring, all steel guide rod, but right there is a uh, recoil spring guide rod bushing. So that'll have to be removed. We'll go ahead and take this out. You can see it came out a bit. And there it is. Move the link forward and off comes, or out comes the barrel, the front end. And there is your three inch bull barrel. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down, throw a couple drops of oil in and we'll reassemble it. Let's go ahead and reassemble. We'll put the barrel in and get those barrel lugs seated. We want the link totally forward. I'm going to keep this recoil assembly together and place it in so that it fits on top of the barrel where those cutouts are. And then I'm going to move the link forward so that when I put the slide back onto the frame, that link will be aligned proper, properly. And if I look, I can see that it is. So I'll put this pin in. You may have to move the slide forward or back a little bit depending on if you have it perfectly set. I'll go ahead and get this seated right there and there it is reassembled simple process I put the Ronin EMP in a full-size 1911 holster, and you can see that it will fit in there just fine, nice and snug fit. Although not necessarily ideal, I'm just making the point that it will fit in a 1911 holster. But there it is, a new release from Springfield Armory called the 1911 Ronin EMP. A beautiful looking and shooting handgun, I think this is going to sell well, especially when people get it in their hands. They'll, they'll see and feel that it is very lightweight. It's a nice shooting handgun. That bull barrel is pretty sharp. Cuts down on the recoil, like no recoil, with that dual recoil spring. And it, it just is a straight shooter. What, what can I say? I, I was just so impressed with my shooting impressions with it that just had to brag it up a little bit and speak the truth because I shot this very well. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.